150 locally employed staff and 20 expatriates work for this field operation. Half are based at the hospital in Mariel Lu. The others spend their time out in the surrounding region running feeding clinics. Naba Kok village is just 35 kilometers from MSF's base camp in Mariel Lu, but it takes two hours to get there. Increasing numbers of people are attending the supplementary feeding centers. It's July and there will be no harvest until late August. This Dinka woman says there's nothing left to eat at home. She says there's no nourishment in her breast milk. She says they're having to forage alongside their livestock. These women say the leaves they eat give them diarrhea. MSF is well aware of the danger of creating food dependency, so its screening process for treatment is rigorous. These field clinics are mainly for the benefit of the infants. It operates a triage system. A green ban means no food ration is needed. Red or orange, indicating the severity of malnourishment, means the child needs supplementary feeding. Yeah. Are they going to be able to carry this one? They are very small. Yeah. These ones, they are orphans. Eh? <laughs> this one, they are orphans. Yeah, so one of them is so severely malnourished. So the, the elder one is taking care of the, the family. Come OK. In the outlying stations, MSF finds the most severe cases of infant malnutrition. The job now becomes one of persuading the families that they should be cared for at the Mario Lu Hospital. It's a big risk for the Dinka, because it means leaving cattle and fields more vulnerable to raiders. Those who are persuaded quickly find that the MSF team is also vulnerable to the quagmire that this region becomes in the rainy season. Sky, sky for one street. Ben Maranga is a doctor recruited from Kenya. He's in Mario for just a month. The sicker you are, then the more likely you are to be in the pediatric ward. Because of that, mortality is quite high. And the patients interpret this to mean that, oh, you know, everyone who goes, many of those who go to the pediatric ward don't come back. So you have to spend half the time looking at the child, assessing the child, and prescribing the therapeutic uh, modalities for the child, and then half the time convincing the mother that this is actually good for the child to be admitted in a pediatric ward, yeah, because they are really, really scared about coming here. So this is one of the unfortunate cases we've had. Despite MSF's best efforts, there are still people who leave the hospital before their treatment is complete. This woman explains that she took her child out of the hospital because she was told there were cattle raiders in the area. It's a harsh reality. A child is sometimes rated below cattle. Her child died two days later from overfeeding to hasten its recovery and her departure from the ward. Among the MSF people, Marial has the reputation as the posting from hell. Even the Sudanese, such as Gideon Tongu Kenyi, find it difficult to adapt. When the film crew arrived, he said he wanted to be on the next plane out. He misses his friends and feels totally isolated. It's my first time, so when I'm alone, so I'm feeling alone. They wrote in my paper, say I will be here for three months if the things are okay. But if there are some difficulties, um, I will call. I will call them and 
really take me back. Yeah. Which is very difficult here is the social life. You, uh, this, uh, uh, you are so far away from, from, from friends, which you have in many other places, but here you cannot or you don't, you, we don't have a setup to develop uh, a, a, a more social life with the community. Not at the moment. And it's due to, to, the, to the setup of MSF, the rules, uh, the issue of, uh, of the war had made that the MSF had very strong rules. So we um, have a curfew. In Mario Lou, you do three things. Work, sleep, or watch a DVD for the tenth time. The next morning, Desma and Sonet return from a brief visit to the remote clinic in Langkap. But darkness fell before they could get back to Mario Lou, and they were forced to spend the night in the bush. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. It was nice with the mosquitoes. <laughs> the mosquitoes were good. <laughs> we have a nice backup. What do you say? Unexpected problems like this lead to unrest among some employees. Not only does Fernando have to cope with the threat of famine, he also has to manage a restless local staff. Some are threatening to quit. 